Amy, I'm so glad you're doing the freaking selfies. You know, Amy, one of the things when we first had actually started talking to each other at the Elton Chamber was the fact you found out I was an optometrist and you had questions regarding your dry eye because you've had various refractive surgeries which do dry out the eye. So I suggest you just come down to the office and have a drop that really works. And tell me what happened when we put it in. So um, when you get LASIK surgery or any type of corrective surgery, dry eye is automatic when you first uh, come out of surgery. And then gradually it, your, your, the dryness goes away. Well, of course, there's always the 1% that actually have long-term dry eye. And of course, I'm down. So not only was I dealing with that, um, I had a corneal inlay, which caused additional dryness. Right. Well, so this, my surgery was in 2015. Right. I have been struggling with dry eyes since Almost then. incapacitating, That's isn't right. It? Where literally, like right after I would wake up in the morning, it would be like I was ripping my eyeball off, the layer off of my eyeball as I opened my eyes. It hurt so bad. I would immediately start crying. I was in excruciating pain multiple days a week. And what did you try to do to remedy this? Any and every drop I possibly could get my hands on. Any surgical procedure to do? No. Okay, it was all... No plugs? Um, we did plugs. Okay. I did not realize that was surgical. Right. We did all... And of course, we have now somebody... <laughs> Photobombing us. Photobombing. I did um, all sorts of plugs. Every option that they gave me. I think there was three different opportunities, and they did it each Time. And we and, and nothing and they of course they tried am I allowed to say restasis? Yes. Restasis and that didn't work and uh -huh. that was what they prescribed me. And I went to multiple doctors and then Dr. Bob walked in. Thank God. And so then he said, Let's just try this. Of course I have allergies on top of all this and he prescribed Casio. Right. And that was life changing. Immediately I felt so much better. I immediately felt some relief, and I found that every single day, if I was just doing one drop a day, it completely changed my life. Well, it really is, and the reason it is, first of all, the, the generic is all patadine, but they put it in a 0.7% solution versus to the generics, which is 0.1 to 0.2%. And what it's considered is a mast cell stabilized an antibiotic, an anti, excuse me, an antihistamine. Antihistamine, you know what that is. Right. The mast cells stabilize. The mast cells in the eyes, when they break apart and degranulate, they release a lot of irritants. This keeps it from doing so. I've done this on multiple people. It's amazing because this isn't the general accepted care for people who come with your type of symptoms. But what a difference it's made. I don't even think the company realizes what kind of power they have with this. And I've been using it, and the patients have been really happy. And of course, we're at an Upland Chamber of Commerce function right now. With and, everybody photobombing and it, us. <laughs> and it's been really super. So I'm so happy that it worked out for you. Thank you so very much. I truly appreciate your time. You bet. You bet.